one foot in the Premier League door. Sheffield United have today gone three points in front of Leeds with two games left with a plus 11 better goal difference. I don't know what to say. I really don't. Leeds have lost two games in a row and we've won two games in a row. <clears throat> it's completely swung back in our direction. And I just, I just, it feels too good to be true. It really, really does. But it looks like all we need to do is beat Ipswich Town, the bottom, uh, the bottom club at home when they've got nothing to play for. That's all we need to do. And I know it's not going to be the easiest game because it's going to be full of tension. Like I say, Ipswich have got nothing to play for so they can come out, they can express themselves. It's going to be tense. It is going to be tense because that game today, the whole game, we weren't expecting to win. So we came out all guns blazing. We know what we're like when we don't expect to win and we come out all guns blazing, try and get early goals. And we do that most games, but against Ipswich, it's going to be tight, I think. I really do think it's going to be tight. Um, so anyway, let's crack on. I have been to Hull today. I've been to Hull. We won 3-0. We were 3-0 up after 42 minutes. And in the second half, we just completely took us foot off the gas. We didn't need to do it. Conserving energy, that's what it's all about. Hull didn't look like scoring all day long today. I think they had one shot on target and it wasn't a great one. Wasted so many chances. Anyway, we start off the game, like I say, all guns blazing. All guns blazing, straight in there, like we always do. Hull had some good chances, they really did. Well, I say good chances, they got into some good positions. The final ball wasn't great, always. There was a few balls that went into the box that didn't quite find a striker or someone to get a shot on target. Henderson claimed a lot of stuff. Um, then we get to corner. I think it was about 10 minutes into the game. Uh, Flight crosses it in. David McGoldrick, absolutely free as a bird at the front post. Not one player anywhere near him powers it past George Long. Um, I'll get on to George Long in a minute. Hilarious. Um, second goal, David McGoldrick picks it up, um, flicks it past the player and then just sees, I think I think he might see George Long a bit off his line and think, I'm going to go for that top bin. He tried it against, um, uh, in the last home game, tried to do what Mark Duffy did, it didn't come off. This time it came off. Oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And we were just sat like bang behind it and it just beautifully curled right into that far corner. So, 2-0 uh, up. But you never take it for granted with the Blades. Never. Uh, I said to my dad halfway through the game, I'm like, um, surely we're not going to throw a 3-0 lead away again. And uh, I was hoping it wouldn't go to 3-0 just so that there wasn't a chance of that happening. But it did. Uh, Ender Stevens, the ball came into the box. Ender Stevens has been excellent again. Um... He obviously just kept going and going and going. Ball came into the box. Again, pretty much unmarked. Um, he got he, he got away from his marker and just headed it into the corner. Simple as that. And I'd like to say there was lots, lots more action and lots more to talk about. But there weren't really. They really weren't because we went into the break 3-0 up. Um... Then we came out a little bit cagey. I wouldn't say cagey because we weren't we weren't bad. We just I think Wilder had said like first fifteen minutes let's weather the storm. They're gonna come at us. They're three 0 down. They've got nothing to lose. They're not gonna get playoffs. They're not gonna go down. They've got nothing to lose. They're gonna come at us, which they did. We just absorbed all the pressure, literally all the pressure. Defended excellently yet again. Um. And uh, and yeah, we, we didn't have too many good chances. Uh, there was one absolutely tremendous piece of work where, piece of work? Piece of play. <laughs> um, where Fleck, 
I think he took what maybe one or two players on, laid it into McGoldrick. As soon as it went into McGoldrick's feet, I knew exactly what we were going to do. A little back heel straight back to Fleck, and the keeper made a brilliant save. But that would have been just, that would have capped it all off. It really, really would. I would have liked to have got more goals in that game because there definitely were more goals in that game for us if we wanted them. But yeah, we. Uh, pressured them, harried them uh, as much as we as much as we could really, um, but at the same time as trying to conserve energy because, yeah, I know it's only a week away. Well, I know it's a week away, but you've got to you've got to keep everyone in shape. And David McGoldrick, even though he ran two goals, he did look knackered towards the end because he put so much effort in today. So, uh, so yeah, McGoldrick came off towards the end for um, Connor Washington, I think it were Hogan. Didn't really have a sniff today. He did all right with link-up play, so the ball came up to him. He'd, he'd hold the defender off well, lay it off. He wasn't losing the ball. He did well, but he just... He's not getting those chances. There was one in the second half where I think... Was it Baldock or was it Basham? I can't remember who it was, but put the ball across the box and their defender just got a toe on it or it would have been a tapping for him. So, uh, so yeah, that, that was the game. We've had a really good day, and the thing is, again, Leeds played after us, so we were able to pile the pressure on. Um, I said before the game that I thought it was going to be two two draws, a draw from from us against Hull, and a draw from um, Leeds at Brentford, but it didn't work out that way, did it? So, uh, so yeah, I'm not rubbing it in with Leeds fans too much because. It must be heartbreaking to watch your team. That that Wigan game must have taken so much out of them last week because 1-0 up, 1-0 up, 10-man but towards the bottom of the league team and they ended up losing it 2-1. That must take so much out of you. It really must. Like We thought it were bad enough um, conceding a last-minute goal against Millwall at home. Um with us having 10 men, that just killed me. And obviously you saw with the video that I put out that I was just, I thought it was all over. But Leeds have completely let us back in. They really have. They were completely in the driver's seat, three points in front of us. Now we're three points in front of them with a plus 11 goal difference. I don't even know how that's happened. Um, but obviously Leeds have just lost 2-0 against Brentford. I got back um, probably about 20 minutes before the end of the Leeds match. Uh, I saw the second goal. Didn't see the first goal, saw the second goal. But towards the end of the game, Brentford were just taking the mick out of the Leeds players. Um, little flicks here, um, faint passes and stuff. They were just taking the mick. That Canos, I think it was Canos, <clears throat> he literally ran and ran and ran and nearly well tried to stick it around the goalkeeper just to, to rub it in even more but uh but no it finished 2-0 they defended excellently as well i've got to say both um brentford and wigan in the last two games have defended excellently um if they didn't leeds probably wouldn't have lost both those games so um so yeah it's now down to leeds at home against villa leeds have got to win the last two games that's it for them. Um, I think that if we beat Ipswich, it's all over. I think we will be Premier League bound. The only way, if we beat Ipswich and um, Leeds beat, who are they called? Villa. Then um, on in the last game of the season, Leeds have Ipswich and we have Stoke away. They would literally have to win... 5-0 and we lose 5-0 or they win 7-0 and we lose 3 it's it's too much it's way too much to uh, to expect so yeah I think one win against Ipswich that will be it we will be done I can't believe how we've got here I really can't believe it we st really struggle we had we had we've had some bad patches this season and we are second in the league three points off Norwich remember because Norwich have drawn again four draws in a row. Four draws. Top of the league. And they're still three points in front. So, uh, 
So yeah, I could be saying that we're, we're going to be champions because we've overtaken Norwich in goal difference. So if we win both our games and Norwich win one and, and lose one, we're champions. So uh, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy how it's happened. I don't know how it's happened really. We've played some great football this season. We had a little bit, little bit of a sticky patch uh, mid-season where we uh, we couldn't beat Rotherham. Um, we, I think we lost a couple of away games where, where we should have really won. But I do think that the thing that spurred us on the most was throwing away a three-goal lead at Villa Park. I honestly believe that was the turning point of our season because from there, they were like, right, no, this, this can't happen again. This will never happen again. And we won numerous games in a row uh, and and obviously we've beaten Leeds uh, in that time we've we've drawn with a very very good Norwich away um we've beaten West Brom we've beaten Hull today we've beaten Preston we've beaten a lot of good well a lot of decent teams away from home which has been our problem in recent seasons we've been beating well last season really beating the easier teams, not being able to beat the top clubs, and we've beat a lot of them. So, uh, so yeah, some big, big results towards the end of this season, and that's what's got us there. So, yeah, we've just got to get over that line now. I'm sure the Ipswich game will be a full-on sellout. Everyone behind the team, <clears throat> everyone, everyone. Um... An early goal would be brilliant. Um, all we've got to do is beat Ipswich. That is it. Plain as day, beat Ipswich. Unless some sort of miracle happens, we will be playing Premier League football next season. Wow. Um, yeah, so uh, just a thing on George Long. <laughs> some Leeds fan put up. George Long hasn't played a game this season. He's a he's a Sheffield lad. He played, spent seven years at Sheffield United. He's had three shots against him today and conceded three goals, which made me laugh. It, it did make me laugh because if you see the goals, he didn't have a chance with any of them. He really didn't. But it's just quite funny to see Leeds fans actually looking at that and being like, that is the reason why Sheffield United won 3 0 today. That's not the reason. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on the video and please subscribe. I need every subscriber I can get. I've just reached 7,800 subscribers, which is mental. Absolutely amazing. Um, getting recognised at away matches as well is always great as well. If you do see me at home matches, at away matches, give me a shout. We'll have a chat picture whatever um it's nice to meet everyone and uh and yeah one more win guys one more win up the blades